Uh, my name is Rebecca and I work for the Macomb School of Business. Um, when I'm not working in the business school, I do um, a little bit of Texas Roller Girls. So I'm not as fast as these girls, but I'm a big girl, you know. I'll knock your ass down. And uh, we have one pair of tickets left for us to stay our member. So if you call us at 472-5667, 472-KOOP, those can be yours. And we're going to hear something live from Peel now. Yeah. What are you going to hear? Uh, in the city. Ooh, Yay! Three weeks, so. <laughs> See how it goes. So I had this fundamental love of radio and um, I kind of just, I really like this local radio station, co-op radio, and they are on the same frequency that KVRX, the student radio station is. And so I went to volunteer and through volunteering I ended up working there for a year and uh, before I got the McCombs job. And when I got the McCombs job I stayed on volunteering at co-op radio. Um, I got started in roller derby through the radio station. So we met together to do a sponsorship meeting to see if co-op and roller girls could work together somehow and they came on my show and I interviewed them and they invited me to the first bout and then I saw the first game and the first roller derby game just like, it amazed me, it awed me because it's, it goes so fast. You don't even know what's happening the first time you go. I guarantee you when the first time you see a game you're going to go, what's happening? Because there's 10 girls on the track and they're all going fast and fast in circles and there's obviously one girl that's trying to get through. You know that's the objective, but it's hard to figure out what else is going on, you know? It looks like they're just pummeling each other, you know? <laughs> Around that time I was having some um, problems at home with my ex-boyfriend and so it was just a really stressful time in my life around that time and uh, I don't know what finally convinced me to, to, to try out they I think they just kept pushing me try out try out try out I kept saying I'm not tough I'm not tough and then finally I decided to get skates I looked on Craigslist one day and just by chance found a pair of skates that were my size and I was like well, that must be a sign or something you know Um, there's also this place on the east side called Pan Am, which is right next to the Pan America Center, which is a recreational center on the east side. And uh, there's also this like cool stage, and there's a baseball field there, and then there's a old tennis court, and uh, that's where we do the majority of our practice. Um, and uh, so it's the perfect uh, dimensions for skating, and we do both drills around like this, and then we do drills back and forth across the tennis courts. Roller Derby's found this way to find all these little outcasts and they all have in common roller derby and even though they're nurses and doctors or one girl's a professor, brains and brawn, that's super scary. Um, we all have that common thing and so it's been really easy to get, a, get a, along with all those girls, you know. I've never had this many girlfriends in my life. I feel like this is where I'm comfortable, this is where I fit in more. It just felt comfortable. He's a boom operator, boom operator. Um, <clears throat> sorry, that was my favorite boom joke when I was a boom operator. <laughs> <laughs>